Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So, <laughs> I have a pencil in my face and I can't talk. <laughs> let's go to the voiceover. Okay guys, let's just jump straight into it. I put my hair into pigtails for the traditional schoolgirl look and then I'm just putting my foundation on with a flat buffing brush. I'm now just doing a really simple eye look and then making the feature of this look with the lashes. So I'm just using my contour shade in the crease and then my highlight shade on the lid. So just your normal stuff here, blush and highlight. I've picked a really pinky pink blush <laughs> for this look to match with the lipstick that I've picked. Just up to mascara now and I've also put white gel eyeliner on the waterline. One of my favourite liquid lipsticks by Modorock, this is You Move Me and this one's on the website too which I'll put the link below. And now you're a schoolgirl and I've also added in the red ribbons to complete this look when we go to the gore. So that's part one done, so time to bring the gore. Is it wobbly? Is it wobbly? So get one of your ribbons and put that around your neck and then I've just added in my contact lenses to get that zombie look. For the strangled ribbon part, I'm using red eyeshadows, purple, blue and black to get that bruised and strangled look. To add a few textures to the skin like the ribbon has been getting tighter around my neck, I'm using Rigid Collodion. This is really good, it goes on liquid and then tightens your skin to give, yeah, kind of a pulled or even scarred texture. Add the coagulated blood and then when you're happy with how it's starting to look, tie up your ribbon and then add in your last final touches. So you could just stop here um, or you could keep going. So I'm going to keep going and add in the pencil but if you still want to look pretty for like Halloween or a party so you could still have all this beautiful makeup and then have a ghost just here but you know me, I want to get gross. So here is my bin camera angle, which you've probably seen in one of my other videos before. Just want to show you how I cut up the pencil and please ignore my hideous nails. Um, I just used some pliers and stuff that was in my hubby's toolbox and I just used a wooden pencil that didn't have colouring on the outside so it wouldn't flake off. So just get a plain wooden pencil and it's pretty easy to see. I'm just cutting off and measuring and then just smoothing out the edges so when it is against your skin it doesn't scratch your skin. So now I'm just lining up the pencil. In my previous look I have done it horizontally but I decided to do it on a diagonal just to make it a bit more I guess a realistic wound or injury. So I've just laid down latex to get a sticky surface and I've also put Dermagum on the base of each of the pencils where they make the entry point to my skin and then put makeup remover on my fingers and used a little palette knife to smooth it to my skin surface. To seal it all up and give it a bit more stability and then putting liquid latex all over wherever the derma gum is. This is helpful if you're putting foundation over the top because that gum never sets so it can like melt into your skin or into your product. So this just puts a nice seal over the top. While that's drying I'm just doing some random shading under the eyes and around the face just to give that zombie dead, I don't know, maybe really tired look. <laughs> And I like any excuse to contour, so I just used black eyeshadow in all the contour areas and blended that out. Now we're up to the blood. I put down transparent blood first and I haven't really used it before and I wouldn't actually do that again. I just found that it is transparent, which is what it says it is, and I just probably didn't think about it. Put it down and just meant it didn't give coverage to cover up the blemishes of the gum. 
but I definitely love the texture of it and would definitely use it again but probably as one of the last type of bloods to put down so next time I would probably put down like a dark blood or a coagulated blood and then finish off with a transparent and then liquid. And just using a sponge to get that blood splatter like as if it's gone straight through my face. Also, if you're going to recreate this look, I just recommend sticking the pencil a little bit further back away from the mouth if you're attending a party or it's something that you're gonna wear and wanna talk with. I was able to talk a lot better once it dried, but it did move a lot. And in my previous time that I've done this before, I did have it further back and it was definitely a lot more wearable. So that's the finished look. Thank you so much for watching. And I do have another video in the mix that's coming soon, so stay tuned. But if you have any other suggestions, please comment below. And I'll see you in my next video. Peace out. Excuse me, miss. <laughs>